Smith Electric Vehicles also known as Smiths was a manufacturer of electric trucks. The company, founded in 1920 in the north of England, moved its headquarters to Kansas City, Missouri in 2011. In 2015, Smith idled its manufacturing and it ceased all operations in 2017. Smith was a manufacturer of the world's largest range of zero emission commercial electric vehicles, with gross vehicle weights GVWs from 3,500 to 12,000 kg, 7,700 to 26,500 pounds. From 2010 to 2015, the company produced over 800 commercial electric fleet vehicles. Formerly based in Washington, Tyne and Weir, it manufactured vehicles for the European, Canadian, Southeast Asian and U.S. markets. Smith was formerly part of the Tanfield Group, which trades on the London Stock Exchange's alternative investment market. Tanfield established a Delaware corporation, Smith Electric Vehicles U.S. Corp. Sev US Corp. in 2009 to penetrate the North American market. The company headquarters is in Kansas City, Missouri. In March 2010, the U.S. company indicated that it wanted to buy out its U.K. counterpart. After a poor multi year trading history, Smith's U.K. branches were shut down. This included Smith Electric Vehicles Europe, which was put into administration, and Smith Technologies, which entered liquidation. Topic History Topic Early years The company was founded in 1920 as Northern Coachbuilders NCB in Newcastle upon Tyne. After making a name as a producer of electric trams and trolleybuses, it moved into electric delivery vehicles. The company's electric vehicle and bus production were separated in 1949, with buses continuing to carry the Northern Coachbuilders brand. All NCB electric vehicles were manufactured by Smith Electric Vehicles, which was based in Gateshead. Overall ownership of the company remained unchanged. The electric vehicle directors were Douglas Smith Sr., Douglas Smith Jr., and H. W. Heyman. The Smith family founded the business and ran it until 2004. In North East England, the family owns Rington's T. Smith Electric Vehicles business in the 1950s and 60s focused on the Milk Float, a vehicle designed for the doorstep delivery of milk and other dairy products. As dairies phased out horse and cart delivery, they opted for near-silent electric vehicles for early morning deliveries instead of noisier internal combustion vans and trucks. Smith launched the Smith Quebec, the first delivery float with a rear-entry cab so the milkman could exit the vehicle on either side, during the mid-1960s. The company produced four Quebec series, the 65, 75, Jubilee 77 and 85. Smith acquired competitor Wales and Edwards, which manufactured three-wheeled milk floats, in 1989. Topic North America The company took its first steps into North America in 1962. Smith Delivery Vehicles, based in Gateshead, signed a partnership with coachbuilder Boyertown and the Exide division of the Electric Storage Battery of Philadelphia to produce an electric-powered delivery truck. 
The Boyertown Smith connection was forged in the late 1950s, when Smith's managing director was in the United States to explore a partnership with William and James Conway, owners of Mr. Softy, whose mobile ice cream trucks were built by Boyertown. Smith obtained the United Kingdom rights to the Mr. Softy brand from the Conways, and began producing Mr. Softy electric ice cream cream floats in 1959 in partnership with J. Lyons & Co., subsidiary Glacier Foods. The Smith family approached the firm with the Batronic proposal in 1962. At that time, there were more than 14,000 Smith Electrics in service across the United Kingdom and Western Europe. The new company was organized as the Batronic Truck Corporation. Exide's parent company was a producer of electric vehicle batteries, and Smith was a producer of electric delivery vehicles. Boyertown's contribution was its high strength, lightweight alloy body. Early Batronics had a top speed of 25 miles per hour, 40 kilometers per hour, and could carry a 2,500 pounds, 1,100 kilograms load up to 62 miles, 100 kilometers on a single charge. The Potomac Edison Company of Hagerstown, Maryland, took delivery of the first production Batronic in March 1964. Smith withdrew from the partnership in 1966, and Batronic produced and sold fewer than 200 vehicles over its 20-year corporate lifespan 1963-1983. Topic. Diversification In the UK, Smith had a downturn in orders for its Quebec and diversified into niche vehicles. The Smith Street range of 7.5-ton low-speed electric trucks were marketed for municipal operations and interior applications requiring heavy-duty, emissionless vehicles. Smith Street vehicles are used in nuclear power plants, large factories, and salt mines which have been converted into record storage facilities. The company rebranded itself as SEV Group and diversified into fleet management, mobile vehicle repair and the sale, hire and maintenance of forklifts and other material handling equipment. The Tanfield Group, an engineering company based in North East England, acquired the SEV Group in October 2004 for £2.2 .2 million and £1 million new ordinary shares. Tanfield restored the Smith Electric Vehicles brand name and began research and development of new electric delivery vehicles. Topic development The Faraday, a proof-of-concept vehicle, with a top speed of 50 miles per hour 80 kilometers per hour, a range of up to 60 miles 100 kilometers in urban operations and a capacity of up to 2,000 kilograms 4,400 pounds, was introduced in October 2005. Built on a Smith steel chassis, the Faraday had a gross vehicle weight GVW of over 5,000 kg Early adopters, such as TNTNV and Sainsbury's, wanted an electric vehicle which better matched UK driving licence restrictions. In the UK, a person with a valid licence can drive a light commercial vehicle with a GVW of up to 3,500 kg 7, a vehicle between 3,500 and 7,500 kg 16, requires a C1 commercial vehicle licence. Smith introduced the Newton 7 
11.5 ton truck, which housed electric drivetrain technology in a chassis by Avia in the Czech Republic, in 2006. Express and Mail operator TNTNV took the first Newton for assessment in its London fleet. A new Smith Electric Vehicles production facility was built in Washington, Tyne and Weir, and was opened by Prime Minister Tony Blair in February 2007. This will be a company that will really make its presence felt not just in the Northeast, but actually throughout the world. In April of that year, Smith unveiled the Smith Edison. Based on the Ford Transit, it was the first electric light commercial vehicle with a GVW of less than 3,500 kg, meeting the everyman driving license requirement of UK fleet operators. The first companies to deploy the Edison included the retailer Sainsbury's and the utility company Scottish and Southern Energy. TNTNV ordered a fleet of 50 Smith Newton trucks. After its successful trial of the first vehicle in 2006 trial, that month, Smith was one of several electric commercial vehicle companies invited to the Department for Transport (DFT) in London for discussions on how the UK government might help stimulate the market for commercial electric vehicles. This led to the announcement of the Low Carbon Vehicle Procurement Program in the government's May 2007 Energy White Paper. During the summer of 2007, Smith produced its first vehicles for export delivered to TNTNV in the Netherlands. In December, the company exhibited its Newton truck in North America and announced plans to establish a U.S. production facility. Topic 2008. In 2008, Smith appointed its first full-service distributor, Electric Vehicles Ireland. In April, Smith and Ford of Europe announced an official collaboration on the future development of commercial electric vehicles beginning with the Smith Ampere an electric version of the Ford Transit Connect by the end of June 2008 the Tanfield Group Smith's parent company reported the cancellation and postponement of customer orders in November, Smith Electric was shortlisted for the Department for Transport's Low Carbon Vehicle Procurement Program a subsidy scheme which allowed public sector organizations to buy electric and low carbon vans for the same price as an equivalent diesel vehicle. Electric vehicle sales for 2008 were £25.1 million, down from £26.1 million pounds in 2007. The Tanfield Group cited a combination of supply chain constraints, fleet operator spending reductions and a lack of available credit for the decline in sales. The Great Recession aka Global Financial Crisis GFC, also impacted the company's plans to open a production facility in the U.S. Topic 2009 After restructuring its operations in line with the downturn in demand, in February 2009 Tanfield announced the formation of Smith Electric Vehicles U.S. Corp. Smith U.S., a joint venture which is 49% owned by Tanfield. The 51% majority share was owned by private investors and Smith U.S. management. 
In addition to establishing an associate company in the U.S., Smith appointed distributors for sales and service in all foreign markets which were offering incentives for electric vehicles. Smith delivered its first Newton electric truck to Electric Vehicles Ireland, its distributor for the Republic of Ireland and Northern Ireland, in March 2009. The 10,000 kg vehicle was purchased by building materials retailer Grange Builders Providers of Dublin. This was followed by the appointment of all green vehicles in the Netherlands as Smith's distributor for the Benelux countries. At the Geneva Motor Show, Ford exhibited its Turnio Connect, a concept electric people carrier version of the Ford Transit Connect. The prototype was produced by Smith. In 2009, the UK government began funding electric vehicles. Smith announced in June that it was a successful bidder for the Ultra Low Carbon Vehicle Demonstrator Program (ULCVDP), administered by the Technology Strategy Board (TSB), which provided matching funds for the development of demonstration electric passenger vehicles. Smith announced that it would produce a seven-seat executive minibus, ten London taxis based on LTI's TX4 chassis, and five people carriers similar to the concept Ford Turnio Connect exhibited in Geneva. That month, the UK government confirmed that Smith was one of three electric van manufacturers on the final shortlist of suppliers for the Low Carbon Vehicle Procurement Programme. In November, Tanfield announced that it was terminating its involvement in the electric Ford Transit Connect project in North America and Europe by mutual agreement with Ford. Smith cited the unexpected early success of its Newton electric truck in the U.S. market, since Smith U.S. had orders for 255 trucks, it decided to focus on the Newton. In Europe, Tanfield felt that the market for smaller vans was becoming too competitive. Smith UK appointed Syme Darby Motors its distributor for Hong Kong and Macau. It received repeat business from Sainsbury's, which ordered an additional 50 Smith Edison electric vans. Combined with Sainsbury's existing 20 electric vans, this created the world's largest fleet of new technology electric commercial vehicles. Sales of electric vehicles declined from £25.1 million to £15.1 million in 2009. 2010 In 2010, the company supplied 10 Smith Edison vans to Ford of Europe for the Cologne Mobile project in Cologne. The first phase of the project would examine the potential benefits of electric commercial vehicles in Cologne, then forecast how they might affect Germany's plans to deploy 1 million zero-emission vehicles by 2020. In March, Electricity was appointed as Smith's French distributor. Phase 1 of the UK's low carbon vehicle procurement program began in April. Smith received 67% of the orders for electric vans, more than double the total of orders received by the program's other two electric van suppliers, Modec and Allied Electric. At the UK's Commercial Vehicle Operator Show, the company celebrated its 90th anniversary. It announced Smithlink, the first telematics system for electric commercial vehicles. 
This provided real-time data on battery state of charge and vehicle location and the data monitoring required for government-funded projects from the United States Department of Energy and the UK's Department for Transport. The company introduced the UK's first all-electric 17-seat minibus at the CV Operator Show at the National Exhibition Centre in Birmingham. The Smith Edison minibus was based on the Ford Transit minibus chassis. Topic 2011. In 2011, Smith's subsidiary in Kansas City, Missouri acquired the parent company for $15 million and moved its headquarters to Kansas City International Airport. The new company announced that it was exploring the potential of an initial public offering IPO. Although Tanfield initially maintained 49% ownership of the company, the percentage was subject to dilution as SEV raised additional equity capital. Brian Hansel was the company's CEO. The initial stock offering was not completed. 2013. Smith announced in June that it had over 700 vehicles deployed and over 5 million miles of operation. In August, Smith signed a letter of intent to form a joint venture with Taikong Technology Corporation in Taiwan for electric vehicle assembly and distribution. The company deployed its first vehicle to grid V2G vehicles at Fort Carson, Colorado, in September. The deployment was part of the Smart Power Infrastructure Demonstration for Energy Reliability and Security project. Smith entered a letter of intent agreement the following month with battery supplier Sinopoli to develop markets in China and Taiwan. By the end of October, Tanfield's stake in Smith was less than 6%. 2014 In May, Smith reached an agreement with Hong Kong-based battery manufacturer Sinopoly Battery Limited intended to raise $40 million for the firm. On 9 June, the company introduced Italy's first all-electric commercial truck. The Italian version of the Newton was delivered to Neoniverta Transport at a ceremony in Milan. In August 2014, Smith purchased a small Colorado company listed on the OTC Bulletin Board for $340,000 as part of its strategy to become a public company. That month, a UK subsidiary separated as SEV in a management buyout to focus on the European maintenance and service sector. 2016 After many years of poor trading, Smith's UK arms were shut down. This included Smith Electric Vehicles Europe, which was placed under administration, and Smith Technologies which was liquidated. 2017 In February 2017, the company ceased operation due to lack of funding, however, its board was attempting to obtain financing for a reorganization. 
Topic Newton truck Introduced in 2006, the Newton electric truck was Smith's first produced, new technology, electric commercial vehicle. The Newton was available in three GVW ratings, 7,500 kg, 10,000 kg and 12,000 kg. Each was available in a short, medium or long wheelbase. The truck was powered by a 120 kW electric permanent magnet motor and driven by lithium-ion iron phosphate batteries with A123 systems modules. Smith offered 80 or 120 kWh battery packs. Customers in Europe included TNT Express, TK Max, DHL, Balfour Beatty, Bunzel, AG. Bar, the Office of Public Works in Ireland and Celtic Linen in Dublin. Frito-Lay was a major U.S. customer, with 176 Newton delivery trucks in operation by January 2011 about 1% of Frito-Lay's total fleet. Other American customers included Coca-Cola, AT&T, Pacific Gas and Electric Company (PG&E), Staples, and the U.S. Marine Corps. Newton was named Green Commercial of the Year in the Electric Vehicle section of Fleet Transport Magazine's Irish Truck of the Year Awards 2010, sponsored by Castrol. The Newton was sold worldwide in October 2012 and available with three payload capacities, from 6,100 to 16,200 pounds 2,800 to 7,300 kilograms. The lithium-ion battery pack was available in several sizes, with a range of 40 to 100 miles 60 to 160 kilometers and a top speed of 50 miles per hour 80 kilometers per hour. Topic. Step van In March 2012, Smith announced the Newton Step Van, an all-electric, zero-emission vehicle built on the Newton platform with a walk-in body produced by Indiana-based Utilimaster Corporation. <laughs> Edison The Smith Edison was the world's first electric van with a GVW of under 3,500 kg, a critical factor, because vehicles over 3,500 kg require a commercial driving license. Edison, like any van under 3,500 kg, can be driven by anyone with a regular UK license. The Edison was sold worldwide, except in the U.S. It was available as a chassis cab, delivery van and minibus, with a capacity varying from 1,600 to 5,100 pounds 730 to 2,310 kilograms. The delivery van was sold with several lithium-ion battery packs, with a range of 55 to 100 miles 90 to 160 kilometers and a top speed of 50 miles per hour 80 kilometers per hour. The Edison, based on the Ford Transit chassis, was powered by a 90 kW induction motor from Innova Systems and a 40 or 51 kWh lithium-ion iron phosphate battery pack from Valence Technology. In November 2009, the Edison was one of the Irish Motoring Writers Association's top five vans of the year. 
In December 2009, it was named the 2010 Eco Van of the Year by What Van magazine. In 2012, the Edison was upgraded to use the Ford Transit Stage 5 variant. Customers were in Russia, Revolta, Netherlands, Spikestall, Taiwan, Taikong, Hong Kong, CLP, FedEx, the UK, Sweden, Fuelreduce, and Abu Dhabi. It was discontinued in 2014. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> London Taxi. LTI and Smith produced the TX4E, an all-electric version of LTI's TX4 black taxicab. Smith built the first 10 TX4S as part of the UK government's ultra-low carbon vehicle demonstrator programme. The vehicles were not commercially successful, and the practicality of an electric taxi has been disputed. According to Licensed Taxi Drivers Association General Secretary Bob Audy, only about 40% of London cabbies will be able to work a full eight-hour shift on a 100-mile charge. <laughs> Ampere The Smith Ampere was based on the Ford Transit Connect chassis. Smith produced a European prototype in 2008 and a U.S. version the following year, after Smith U.S. signed an agreement with Ford Motor Company in February 2009. The van was to be assembled for the North American market in the former Trans World Airlines maintenance hangar at Kansas City International Airport, and in the UK for the European market. That month, Smith US announced that it would join Humvee manufacturer AM General to produce a prototype electric delivery vehicle for the United States Postal Service. The company terminated its agreement with Ford in November of that year. Topic: <inaudible> Research and Development. Smith Electric Vehicles developed driveline enhancements and ancillary systems for commercial electric vehicles, including heating and air conditioning. The company estimated that the technology could increase electric vehicle range by up to 20%. In February 2010, Smith announced that it was working with Germany's Proton Power Systems to incorporate a fuel cell into its Smith-Newton truck. The small fuel cell would act as a mini-generator, topping up the batteries and possibly doubling vehicle range. <laughs> <laughs> SmithLink SmithLink arose from the desire to understand how a fleet of all-electric vehicles performs under a variety of conditions, such as topology, temperature and driving style. In 2010, a team was formed to design a system for the collection and processing of data to aid product development. SmithLink was rolled out on several key UK and US fleets. When SmithLink began, there was no secure and reliable transmission protocol for high-volume data transmission over public networks the data portions of the mobile GPRS spectrum, Smith worked with the Advanced Message Queuing Protocol AMQP working group and OASIS to define a standard protocol for messaging interoperability. SmithLink was one of the first heavy users of the AMQP protocol for telemetry transmission. 
By 2014, the system has been installed in over 800 vehicles worldwide. In March of that year, Smithlink had recorded over of 8.5 million miles of data on its electric trucks. Topic Smith U.S. The Tanfield Group announced the formation of the Smith Electric Vehicles U.S. Corporation Smith US in February 2009, and the company opened for business later that year. It was the U.S. leading manufacturer of electric trucks. Tanfield owned 49% of Smith U.S., with the remaining 51% owned by private investors. The U.S. majority ownership qualified the company for federal and state funding and incentives for electric trucks. Smith U.S. owned the rights to produce and market Tanfield's commercial electric vehicles under the Smith brand. Tanfield licensed its electric vehicle technology to Smith, in exchange for a royalty fee per vehicle sold by Smith U.S. Smith U.S. produced the Smith Newton all electric truck in classes 3 to 7. The Newton has a top speed of 55 miles per hour, 90 kilometers per hour, a range of up to 100 miles, 160 kilometers on a single charge and is powered by lithium ion batteries. In July 2009, Smith US delivered its first Newton trucks at a ceremony on Capitol Hill presided over by Missouri Senator Kit Bond. Its first six customers were Coca-Cola, Frito-Lay, AT&T, Staples, Pacific Gas and Electric and Kansas City Power and Light. The initial six vehicles were produced at Smith UK's facility in Washington, Tyne and Weir and shipped to Missouri in kit form for final assembly. That month, the Department of Energy awarded $10 million to Smith U.S. for a fleet of trial vehicles for major U.S. corporations. Commerce Secretary Gary Locke made the grant announcement in Kansas City during a visit to Kansas City Power and Light. By October, Smith U.S. had recruited and trained the nucleus of its workforce and Newton trucks began rolling off the production line in Kansas City. The Newton became the first all-electric truck on the U.S. General Services Administration GSA schedule, a list of products approved for purchase by federal agencies and the U.S. military, in January 2010. The agencies spend a combined $1 billion annually on GSA approved vehicles and automotive services. At the end of March 2010, U.S. Senator Claire McCaskill announced that the Department of Energy was awarding an additional $22 million, allowing Smith U.S. to increase its build program to more than 500 Newton trucks. Smith had its corporate head headquarters in Kansas City, Missouri. The company's engineering center of excellence was in Washington, Tyne and Weir. Smith U.S. made a £37 million conditional offer, equating to 50p per Tanfield share plus a free share in Smith U.S. if it made an initial public offering and joined the stock market in the near future, to buy out the Smith U.K. operation and create a company separate from the Tanfield Group. Tanfield gave Smith U.S. a four month period of exclusivity, giving the American company until July to raise the requisite funding and make a firm offer. After President Barack Obama's visit to the Kansas City plant on 8 July, the exclusivity period was extended 60 days to September 2010.
Topic preservation Five battery electric vehicles produced by Smith have been preserved in the collection of the Transport Museum, Wythal near Birmingham, England. A Model S65 operated by Walsall and District Co-op and a Model SS operated by Handsworth Dairies date to 1957. A pair of two-ton models operated by Walsall and District Co-op and Nottingham Co-op date to 1958 and 1959, and the fifth vehicle is a 1969 commuter mail van operated by the General Post Office. The Ipswich Transport Museum has a 1948 Smith Milk Float operated by the Ipswich Cooperative Society in its collection, and three vehicles used for door-to-door -door vegetable sales. Built in 1965, they were retired in 2001 and donated to the museum by the Co-op in 2002. Topic C also battery electric vehicle boom lift electric bus Morrison Electricar Wales and Edwards. <laughs>